Morning, even afternoon, Tim and Tap Man too. We got a banger for you today, baby. A lot of you might have seen I streamed from AT&T Stadium with Ezekiel Elliott. It was a crazy experience, one of the best experiences I've had throughout my streaming career, and truly an incredible opportunity. What we got for here is me talking about the experience, what it was like to play with Zeke and also play on the big screen at AT&T Stadium. It was an incredible thing. Y'all are going to love this, and if you do, Drop a like out and share it with a friend. If you're not subscribed over here to Tim and Tab Man 2, hit the sub button and ring the bell. All right. Be sure to tell somebody you love them. Okay. I'll catch you in the next one. I look hungover. Thanks, guys. I'm not. I didn't drink last night that much. I'll have you know. I drank like six beers. That's it. So I'm good to go. You know what I mean? Guys, so I want to talk about the AT&T thing yesterday. Thoughts, for one. Thoughts, everybody. Lit, right? Really cool. I had a lot of fun, but I was curious what y'all thought. It was it was really, really fun to be able to do that. I thought it was a really cool stream. I know Dr. Disrespect went and tried to buy the camera I was using. <laughs> it was fun. I was very happy. I'll say, too, I was very happy with how it went. I think it went very well. To get to, like, you know, being a Cowboys fan, right? Being a Cowboys fan and having the opportunity to play at AT&T Stadium was incredible. And then on top of that, dude, right, to have Zeke there was incredible. And then, I mean, guys, that was probably the most high-quality stream you're going to see out of me ever. Like, they had fireworks, bro. They have fire. They had different camera angles. You know what I mean? Um, it, I, I was really, really happy with how it went myself. I can't lie. I was I was nervous. I was very nervous um, just to just to even do it. I, I was like scared because there were here's what I was nervous about, bro. There were people that were there that were just like walking around. You know what I mean? And then I'm just yelling like, suck my ass. You know what I'm saying? And then people are like, who the frick's that guy? Tim, you could tell you were nervous. Yeah, I mean, but in my defense, right? I feel like I had to be because <laughs> I'd never done anything like that you know but like how big of a W is it that I got to play at the play at the AT&T Stadium right get a win a war zone win and on top of that I played on the big screen which with that input delay I want everyone to know terrible that input delay it was like a solid like almost like a half of a second, like to from when I was moving my joystick to when I was moving in the on the screen. It was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I was on controller, which is even harder. But like I got a win on the big screen. And how crazy is it, Chad? That guy was cheating at the end, right? You think the 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 last guy that we spectated? Because I I spectated one game, just so I could say that I spectated a solo at um. AT&T Stadium, but dude, that guy definitely had like magnetic bullets or something. He was only hitting headies. He had to be cheating. Had to be. But it was such a cool, like so cool to like see. I think in my opinion, it was just cool to see Warzone on a big screen like that at a stadium. You know what I mean? Just to have that like broadcasted behind me and um, and even getting to play on it too. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, bro. For only four kills, Tim. Thanks, guys. How are you going to talk shit to me when I don't even play controller? I don't play controller. And on top of that, right, I can barely see. Like, okay, I can't barely see. I could obviously see very well. I got a second input delay on controller, and I still got four. All right? Chat, bitch. Nah, Tim, it was 40 kills. Right. It was 40 kills. You guys just didn't see it, bro. But, uh... Yeah, the, the dude, overall, that AT&T experience was really, really dope. It was cool just to be able to walk around the stadium and, like, no one was there. You know what I mean? And just kind of hang out. And then um, on top of that, to be able to be a Cowboys fan and be, like, the – like, to, I saw my name all around AT&T Stadium and stuff like that. It was it was really, really cool. And I, I, I love the opportunity, man. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. We have two more of those streams with AT&T. And I, I, I teased a little bit. I, I don't want to leak anything. But I teased a little bit as to where the next one's going to be. It's going to be, what is it? October 26th, I think I said. And then somewhere on the East Coast. <clears throat> somewhere East Coast. 
That, I, 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 that, that's it. That's it. And uh, one thing I, one thing I told the whole crew after I was done, I was like, man, I was like, bro, I don't know how. Like we had fireworks and shit, bro. Like I don't know how we're gonna outdo the next one, but I think it went great, guys. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna leak anything. All I'm gonna say is East Coast. That's it. Anywho, overall, I was very, very happy with the AT and T thing. One question I want for you guys, chat, random, random, kind of. I just, I'm gonna, and this is just gonna, I'm gonna kind of gauge your interest. If you think a streamer would almost go on a tour like that, like how I'm doing this road show with AT and T, and they sold tickets, do you think people would actually go to it? Obviously, a stadium like AT and T Stadium that might be way too big, right? That that would be like. I mean, talk about talk about a huge. Like I think AT and T Stadium fits a hundred thousand people, so like uh, that that's probably too large of an idea, or an example, but th- like a smaller stadium, maybe one that can hold thirty to uh, twenty to thirty thousand people, maybe something like that. There, there's probably people out there that would buy tickets to go to stadiums and watch streamers live and then to have a live crowd. Like, could you guys imagine when I got that win yesterday, if there was like a crowd there and I think, I think it could be really, really cool, but excuse me, I just like hurt my hand, but I, I don't know if the, if it would be worth it in the sense of, that's a lot of traveling for a streamer. And I mean, obviously someone like, I mean, I, I have a, I got a kid, you know what I mean? So I don't know how many, like, and how many do you do? Like I was thinking about bands and stuff like that, right? How many shows do you think bands play? Like 10 to 15 shows maybe, right? 10 to 15. And then you could do like, I don't know, 10, 10 different cities or something. That's just like so much traveling. I, dude, if I did that low key, I would buy like a big travel bus. That'd be fun. <laughs> and get Have you guys seen some of those huge travel buses, bro? They got like they got like multiple bedrooms. They got like two showers. They're f- some, they got TVs on the outside. They're freaking dope, man. Honestly. I don't know. It was something I was randomly thinking about when I was in the stadium yesterday. I was like, this could be a really cool thing to have people actually here watching. It could be a really cool opportunity, but I don't know if it'd be like, that's a lot, a lot of work. You know what I mean? So ask Luke, I guess I could just ask Luke about like how he does it. And if he thinks it'd be a good idea. I don't know. Random thought I had after the stream yesterday and, and while I was there, but overall you guys think it was a W I I thought it went great uh, personally, but, um, I, I was very happy with how it went. I'm excited for the next one. And, um, I appreciate y'all being there yesterday, man. It was a lot of fun. It was a very surreal experience. And uh, just to have the opportunity to be in that kind of a situation, atmosphere was incredible. So, 25 from T. Yo, what do you think about streaming at my house? I have a 40-inch TV, and I can light myself on fire. No, thank you. 25 from Michael. If you did live tournaments, it'd be legit, but kind of treat it like a Comic-Con deal. I think that's what you would have to do, right? In my opinion. Thanks for your 25, Michael. 25 from Pat. Do tickets and do it with Doc. You guys would sell the place out. Yeah, like doing it with a friend. Like if I did it with Nick or Doc or something like that, so, you know, that, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm getting some barbecue tonight, chat. I'm hype. I, I haven't had authentic texas barbecue yet and i'm going to one tonight so i'll let you guys know what i think apparently it's really good food review i'm in new background looks sick thanks man don't get used to it we're going back to the we'll go back to the to the to the um to the hole in the wall soon don't worry guys 25 from variable hey tim you have sexy fingers have you thought about tattooing your fingers um, no, actually, yes. I don't know why I just said no. I actually think I'm going to get my fingers done pretty soon, bro. Um, what do you mean? I have sexy fingers. That literally doesn't even make any sense to me, bro. Thanks for your money. Doc just texted me and he goes, it's too bad. You don't have the guts for a duo triple threat challenge. 
Doc, I don't want to play PUBG in 2021. I don't want to, okay? Goodness gracious. Doc, Doc, what are you, what is, what is he doing in the triple threat, dude? What's he doing? What, what games does he play? Doesn't he play PUBG? I'm not playing PUBG in 2021. I'm not doing it. It's, a, it's, a, it's Apex and Hunt Showdown. I, no. Doc, I'm not doing that. I don't want to play Apex. I, you know, I've never played Hunt Showdown, but I can tell you I don't have it on this computer. And I can tell you as well that, I, Doc, I'm only here for four hours today, bro. Like, I, I have a hard cutoff. Doc, I got stuff I got to do. All right.